Hello, welcome back. I hope you're having a lovely day. Today I'm back with a what we eat in a day video and so excited for this because I haven't filmed one of these in a little while and also did like a really good food shop yesterday. So I've got some new bits in, so I just wanted to share some new bits and bobs really. That is Penelope breathing very heavily in the background. She's been so cheeky this morning. I actually started my day thinking someone else was in the house and it was in fact Penelope like in a cupboard basically making some absolute racket. I don't know how she got in there, but yeah, she's like a cat. First thing first, I'm gonna have a coffee. I can't believe I've actually started filming having not had a coffee yet. Yeah, we'll get into the video. Okay, so just as I was frothing my milk, the coffee machine has just stopped working and some like not flame but like some steam coming out of the top which doesn't normally come out so i have a feeling something has had a fault there so i'm just gonna have to pour some milk into my coffee but i was kind of i was really looking forward to like a super fluffy cappuccino but never mind that's all right <laughs> We're gonna have some baked oats for breakfast. I've got this really cute little ramekin thing. I'm gonna use the recipe from my cookbook. Just change the protein, and I think I'm gonna add some apple on the top, like make like an apple crumble kind of oats. I've preheated my oven to 180 degrees, and it only takes like 25 minutes. So I'm just gonna unload the dishwasher and do some bits like that first. About 40 grams of oats, uh, blueberry and lemon diet whey, which is my all time favorite at the moment. I'll pop a link down below. Some oat milk. I seem to swap between like oat and almond milk quite a bit, just 150 grams, and then mix it all up. And a little bit of cinnamon on. I just love filling this oat thing up, like, this just brings me joy for some reason. Then I've just melted some peanut butter and added a little bit of milk. Here it is, it actually just looks like one big Cake. Just put so obviously some banana, apple, some melted chocolate, and peanut butter on there. But yeah, this is one of just my all-time favourite breakfast. So good. The bowl is still hot. If you are eating out of like the ramekin, still obviously have a kitchen towel. But it's just like it really is like cake for breakfast. Mm -hmm. I just clicked my back actually like moving the camera over that way. That was so nice. I really want to book in with an osteopath actually at some point soon. I really feel like my back needs just some TLC. Anyway, I am just about to take Penelope on a little walk. Especially as it's such a nice morning. Sometimes I'll take her out in the afternoon, but yeah, I just thought I'd go out. This morning I've been listening to Jay Shetty on purpose, like his podcast that he has on Spotify. He interviews people from the likes of like Rhonda Byrne who wrote The Secret, you know, that really popular book about manifestation. And I loved that interview. Yeah, that book like changed my life a few years ago. So it was really nice to hear an interview with her. And then he also interviews people like Big Sean. So like, rappers like just a really nice like majority of people and it's funny seeing like some similarities in such different people in like different fields yeah I'm loving those at the moment like I always like to listen to something on my walks or like if I'm cleaning in the house and I feel like it just helps in every aspect like I feel like it helps my vocabulary it helps just learning new things all the time and I really do like listening to like new conversations I, I was super shocked with the Big Sean interview as I didn't know he was actually quite like a spiritual person and he he talks a lot about like how he has got where he is and like how he got signed by Kanye and he sort of mentions how a lot of that was manifestation and like visioning so I thought that was super interesting. He's looking half asleep today. Do you want to go on a walk? Walkies? Do you want to go on a walk? Not very convincing now. You want to sleep? Walkies? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we're just having a little move. There's absolutely tons of dogs on this field today. Penelope insists on saying hi to absolutely every single one of them. Yeah, this is quite a nice little, oh, 
<laughs> quite a nice little routine in the morning have my breakfast have a coffee have my plan in my head for what i've got on the day and it's just much nicer to mix things up as well as I like, get my steps in but yeah I try not to make it too long because sometimes I just seem to get so carried away so back from that little walk that was actually so nice just to get fresh air I found yeah that always like completely changes just my whole vibe like I feel like just getting out for a quick walk like I think I was probably like 15 20 minutes that time I'd probably spent sat scrolling on my phone you know after my breakfast or something so that is your reminder as well to make sure you get out for some fresh air especially if you're still like working from home and stuff or spend a lot of the day sedentary anyway pre-workout time I'm gonna go for sherbet and lemon this is the PhD charge one I really really like this and you probably already know how much I love the blue gummy one. So I'm just gonna make this. It is actually back day today. I love back day. I always make sure I plan out my sessions. I feel like that helps me so much more like beforehand. about an hour to do that workout. I did a little bit of core at the end. I think I've got mascara, like my eyes were kind of watering, yet yeah, definitely got mascara underneath there. I'm just gonna jump in the shower in a sec. That was a really good upper body session. I absolutely love back days. Like, I go through phases. Recently, I've been loving my leg days, but back's definitely up there at the moment. I'm thinking, like, I feel like I've definitely lost some size, like muscle mass recently, for absolute sure, especially on my legs for a multiple of reasons. I feel a lot fitter at the moment. I'm just trying some just new things, like I tried a pistol squat this morning, which I haven't really done before, and I wouldn't mind doing some more like upside down work. Like I'd love to be more flexible and be able to do cool things like more handstands, you know? <laughs> I don't know if that's just me, but yeah, I just quite like the more functional side and be able to just do things with my body, which I've never really focused on. It's mainly just been like bodybuilding or focusing on like growth and stuff. But And I definitely do like more walking these days than I did this time last year because things haven't been really open. Like what, what can you do? You can go meet up with friends and like go for a walk, grab a coffee, get like go for a walk. So really having like a pink moment at the minute. So yeah i just popped on some leggings like i was gonna put on jeans and then i just thought no like i am trying to wear more like normal clothes you know anywho i'm just gonna make some lunch so this is like kind of random but i have this most days to be fair so it's basically uh two percent it's like really lean turkey mince although this is the smallest like thing of turkey mince like look at the plastic and where where is the rest What's the point of that excess beer? That bugs me. I'm gonna cook this up. Like normally this is like two portions worth, but this is be looking like one. And yeah, I'm just gonna have like some avocado, a veg, maybe like a wrap or something. Like I have this most days that I'll just maybe swap out the meat for something else. I try to avoid just like my standard like poached eggs and stuff i just find I, it's a lot easier to like get my protein in this way like having more like lean meat and all of that is it me or is it, is it just like the most therapeutic thing you know when you get a shower after you've done like a workout and just feel cleansed as hell is anyone else like that like post-workout showers are just like something else so yeah i'm, I'm gonna have i really like the oat coffee i had so basically the reason why i'm adding milk now like for a while I've been having like an Americano coffee, which I feel like you either love or hate. I'm gonna try just make sure I have milk in my coffees now because I don't think it's good for your teeth. And also like, so I'm just gonna chop up some onion to start with. Okay, this is kind of random, but I'm adding some like chicken casserole seasoning, like just a little bit. I'm surprised you're not eating that with a spoon actually. Normally you just bite the top off, don't you? Wow. So we picked these up yesterday. Wait, wow, they look so bright. We've got another one. So they had these in Waitrose, didn't they? And they're just gone. Anything you buy in this house, this animal here just 
<laughs> Con avocado and some beetroot and some rocket salad. And then I'm just going to make a seeded flatbread. I've been really liking these recently, actually. I keep them in the freezer and then literally just pop them in the toaster. That way they don't go off as well, like if I don't use them all in one week. Grated some of this cheese on top. Kind of looks like a taco. So here's what I'm having for my lunch. This is honestly just like one of my go-to at the moment. Turkey's so quick to cook and then you can just pump it up with some Why are you veg. Me? I'm not videoing oh, you. No. You're just in my oh, lighting wait. spot. No, absolutely. The hardest thing is actually eating this thick. I'm trying to click Mason's back. Oh my god, you hear that? Yeah, that's right. Oh my god! Oh my god! You're back on mine! Oh my god! Squeak! Wait! Lightly! Oh, oh my god! I'm make a quick green smoothie. I just love how quick they are and they just taste so good. 150 grams of. I don't know, I've got this bang on. Doing 40 grams of banana. Frozen banana is better, like, I feel like it gives it more like a an ice cream kind of that way. Blue green lemon, again, today. This has just been the best flavor I think at the moment. One scoop, a few sunflower seeds, a big heap of spinach. You literally can't taste the spinach as well if you're someone who's like not a big fan of greens. Really good like for your hair, it's good. We've got loads of magnesium in it. Do about 60 grams. I'm not going to pour it in a glass, I'm just going to take this massive bamboo straw. So I know I had a package from Love and Tan earlier and woo, I had one of these earlier. Tim Tam, Australian version of a penguin. They're really nice dipped in to a cup of tea. Or I'd probably be able to tell. I just got back from a walk with Penelope and of course I'm gonna show you hair products when my hair is like a bird's nest right now. Like it's been really windy today. But yeah, I just took Penelope on the field. But I forgot to mention in the last vlog and I really wanted to tell you about these two things. I've been using on my hair. This obviously isn't sponsor or anything, like they're two different brands, but you know the Moroccan oil that's been around for years, hasn't it? I've been using that as well as the Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil, and I've really noticed the difference, like I I feel like my hair is much more protected what firstly like when I'm putting heat on it like blow drying or whatever and I've just felt like it's felt much healthier and not as dry on the ends like I have really frizzy hair so there's no such thing as like too much oil for me but I think if you've got like on the thinner side like maybe this would be too much but I really like this combo at the moment and I just wanted to share that. I picked up this like it's kind of like a what is it a Malaysian noodle kit type thing so there's some white noodles in here I'm not going to use like all the sauces I'll just put some of my own seasons in and maybe a little bit of this sauce. Some broccoli, some spring onion and other veggies and then there's just some chicken but throw in these garlic chicken strips. These are actually on a skewer but I'm just going to throw them in like one pound say and then also cook some extra veg. I feel so Oh my word, this smells absolutely amazing. And then we've got the cooked veg here, so I'm just gonna plate this up, wow. Also, if you are trying to track like, say, something like this, and it, like you've added a bit of a sauce or something, just as a rough idea, you can input it, like say, if you use my fitness power like myself, and then just weight in grams. Like, it's not 100% accurate, but it is more of an idea than just sort of like guessing. So here's what I'm having for my dinner. Oh my god, this smells amazing. Windows wide open. Oh, I picked this up the other day. It's a mango and coconut like frozen yogurt. This for dessert. I think I'm gonna wrap this video up 
here and I really hope you liked this what I in a day one let me know what you would like to see if you've got any like video suggestions just pop them in the comments down below see you in the next video I would love you to stick around by subscribing and that is all from me I feel so